If you have hum, you need to tell Final Cut whether it's 60 cycle hum, which means North America or Japan, or if it's 50 cycle hum, which is over here, which is the rest of the world. So if it's not North America or Japan, most of the time you're going to be working with 50 cycle current and 60 cycle current. You have to set the base frequency because otherwise it doesn't know how to remove it. Then you turn that on by clicking hum removal and if there was hum in the clip, oh watch this, I haven't done this before. Um, Jim, one of the things that I've learned is you should always do demos for the first time without rehearsing because that way both you and the audience are surprised when the thing actually works. So let's just apply a clip that has some hum in it. So I haven't worked with this before. Let's just hit the delete key. Audio with hum. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, we'll do that. All right. See if you can hear the hum. Paul, we're standing behind the scenes of the Apple. Could you hear the hum? I mean, it may have been a little bit subtle, but could you hear it okay? All right. So let's select the clip. Let's go up to the inspector and we'll go to see where it says audio audio enhancements go to the right and it says we've noticed there's a little bit of hum here so let's click hum removal and make sure it's set to 60 cycle because I recorded this in Las Vegas and play it oh hush there's no video frames that we dropped all right all right all right so I'll put a piece of video in I haven't gonna, wasn't going to talk about this till tomorrow but we'll just talk about it now. We'll add some blobs. And notice this orange bar here. The orange bar indicates that we have to render the, uh, the effect and the video is just there because the, it, was, it was lonely. Paul, we're standing behind the scenes of the Apple booth here at NAB. Obviously recorded a few years ago. Now I'm gonna turn the hum removal off. And as I walk around this show, which has got hum, now turn it on. What, 100,000 people, I see Final Cut just about everywhere. Is that not cool? This is a really simple technique that you can use to remove hum. Simply select the clip, go to the inspector, go to the audio enhancements, and turn on hum removal, and be sure to set the frequency to whatever you need it to be removed. Okay, now there's the third choice, which is background noise. Let's go back to this and listen to, listen to the amount of noise in the background. Better turn hum removal on. Listen to the amount of noise in the background. Paul, we're standing... I'm, I'm at the NAB trade show. This is done about eight years ago. And I was recording on the trade show floor with a million people surrounding the Apple booth. This is before Apple opened retail stores. I want to remove some of the background noise. So I'm going to click on background noise removal. The amount of noise that you remove is based upon the amount slider. There's no way, none, that you can remove noise without running the risk of damaging the voice. So what you want to do here is you don't want to take the noise out because it's going to make the voice way too fra fragile, generally an underwater blurbly sound. You just want to reduce the noise so that the, uh, the dialogue is intelligible without losing all the background. If you need to lose the background sound, re-record the voice. That's why ADR takes forever, costs a fortune, it's difficult to do. This is why it's much easier to concentrate on getting good noise, good audio in production, because getting good audio in post-production is time-consuming and painful. But we can improve it. So here's with it out. Paul, we're standing behind the scenes of the Apple Okay, now let's turn it on, see what it sounds like just at the default setting. Booth here at NAB. And as I walk around this show, which has got what? Now, my voice has gotten thinner, but the background noise has all disappeared. So let's just decrease the amount that we're removing. 100,000 people, I see Final Cut just about everywhere. Are you ever surprised by the, the intense reaction? So what we're doing here is using this slider to... to vary the amount of background noise so my voice sounds as rich as possible, as non blurbly as possible, and the background noise decreases to the point that you're able to hear the dialogue. Paul, we're standing behind the scenes of the Apple booth here at NAB, and as I walk around this show, which has got, what, 100,000 people, I see Final Cut just... And this is one of the things where you just have to dial it in, and it's always a trade-off. 
You can never make the background noise totally be gone because it's going to make your voice sound blurbly and yet you want to have the noise be reduced. So you always want to think of background noise not as removal but as reduction. I want to decrease the level.